Hi guys, welcome to your Pedia education. So there is one good news for electronic student, especially for those who are looking for opportunity to work under Navratna company. So here is one opportunity coming from BEL, Bharat Electronics Limited. So as you know, there are always many opportunity, especially for electronics, electrical, computer science student to start their career with BEL. See the best thing about BEL is that you know the people, the student there in their surrounding, they all are competitive and you also get there one of that preparation environment if you want to excel and if you want to aspire for some other higher order PSUs or for some higher order government jobs. So I personally recommend BEL jobs especially for those students who want to start their career with at least some of the reputed organization. So BEL Bharat Electronics Limited a Navratana company has advertisement some post project engineer and second one is trainee engineer. For project engineer they have total 327 number of post out of which 164 are for electronics 47 for computer science, 106 for mechanical and 7 for electrical, chemical, aerospace 2. And category wise breakdown you can see here the age limit for project engineer is 32 year. And consolidated remuneration per month is you can see for first year, second year, third year, fourth year. Is it clear? Next is trainee engineer. In this for electronics we have 100 vacancy most of the vacancies are for the electronics people and for trainee engineer they are not asking any experience but when it comes to project engineer they are asking minimum of two year relevant industry post qualification experience and the number of post background for trainee engineer is this one and the remuneration for first year 30,000 second year 35,000 third year 40,000. So if you have done your engineering in electronics and you want to avail this opportunity and I believe the normal IT companies which come or visit in normal engineering college they offer only this much amount of package. So if anyhow you are not able to grab that seat then don't worry you are not alone there are many people but there are always new opportunity ahead. So this is one of the best opportunity. Now they have clearly mentioned academy teaching research ex work experience in non-profit organization internship project work placements which are part of academic curriculum which not be considered as experience. If they are asking for experience here so these all will not be considered as experience reason being many times students keep on telling sir can we share our internship as experience no it's not experience. Now some more insight about project engineer is that project engineer will be engaged for an initial period of three years which may be extended further for period of one year. So maximum tenure is of the four year. They are the you know fixed term basis uh, opportunity contractual opportunities and based on the project requirement and individual performance this extension will happen. The enumeration I already have told you and similarly for trainee engineer it will be initially for two year but it can be extended one year more so it means total three years. Now the age limit for project engineer 32 trainee engineer 28. So for category upper age limit there is you know basically relaxation that is as per the rules of government of India and you might be knowing that if you belong to some particular category. Now basically sir if we talk about the project engineer what educational qualification we should have BTEC, BE, BSc engineering four year course from recognized institutions university college in the following discipline electronics, mechanical, computer science, electrical, chemical, aerospace. For trainee engineer again the same if your subject is electronics then discipline must be this thing. If you are applying for mechanical your discipline should be this one. If you are applying for computer science post you can have degree in these all. If you are applying for electrical you can have degree in these all. So see for electrical post if you have if your BTEC degree is in electrical electronics you can apply. If your BTEC degree is in only electrical you can apply. 
right similarly if i talk about the aerospace post so if you have aerospace engineering degree well if you have aeronautical then also you can apply now the final question is sir what should be the eligibility criteria and what will be the eligibility criteria that i have told you what is the selection procedure see they have clearly mentioned candidate should meet the eligibility criteria as specified in the advertisement which just now i discussed and candidates who meet the eligibility criteria they will be called for written test for 85 marks and that will be offline in bengaluru only and those who clear the same will be shortlisted for the interview of 15 marks and very important the place of written test and interview will be bengaluru only so it's not an online or you know virtual test you need to visit physically bengaluru if you are looking ahead for this opportunity and last day to apply for this position is 18th of may last day to submit online application is 18th of may so guys for electronics people computer science people mechanical student this is one of the great opportunity and if you are a fresher you can apply for trainee engineer and if you want to prepare for your interview then you can connect us at your pedia education so we will be providing you the guidance or mentorship which will be specific for the requirement of bel only because you need to also correct the interview if you want to join these two posts so we wish you all the best and this is a huge number of vacancy so electronic student have usually complained that they don't find much opportunity but bel is a place or organization which always keep on putting out the large opportunity for the electronics graduate thank you